Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I finally managed to get out on the cross country bike with the new forks fitted, which we fitted in the last video. I've come out to Nutcombe Bottom. This is a little bit of woodland just below Dunster. It's got some great single track on it. It's got some real nice fire road climbs, which that bike should really excel at. So there's a few bits I've not ridden before. There's a few bits I have. Some bits that I've not recorded before, some bits that I have. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a mixed bag of things, but it should be good. I'm just really interested to see how those 120 mil forks. So I'm gonna get my kit ready and we are gonna make our way up that hill. Right. Let's go. Right, we're just coming up on our first descent, Sidewinder. Very, very dark in here at the moment. Ooh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> almost got a little squirrely and out of control. I can already feel just how much more grip these uh, this tyre's got on the ground. It's absolutely brilliant. Just tackling things just that much quicker now. Oh, the water works. <laughs> what are we doing, Sam Baskets? Little jump. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's flooded. <laughs> I'm absolutely soaked. Right, we've got an absolute beastly climb coming up. Uh, it should be perfect for this bike, but it's still not going to be very nice. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with it. Absolutely gorgeous out there today. Right, let's get to the top of this. So down in this valley is a, another descent which you technically shouldn't do because it's a footpath called Long Coombe. Really, really good descent that, but after the rain we've had, it'll be absolutely horrendous, probably even to walk as well. So we're not going to be doing that today. Instead, we're going to be heading up over to one of the uh, Black Hill trig points over that way. Look at these god rays coming through. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we are coming up to the trig point. This is the highest point of the rise. 381 meters. Let's go and touch it, shall we? There we go. Right, so over in the distance, that's the uh, tail end of the Quantox. You've got West Quantox head in there. Uh, then you've got a few other villages, Willerton, Watch It, and then all the other ones that come through. Uh, just over that direction, we've got Bats Castle, which we'll be going to. And then just behind that is the village of Dunster. 
and then right over there behind that little tree is uh, part of North Hill, um, which has got Minehead and everything below it. And we have come from all the way over in that direction, car park's over there. So we've still got a fair bit to go, but should be good fun. To be totally honest, I wasn't expecting snow up here either. So, interesting surprise. All right, we have got a bit of a descent down this. I don't know how quick I'm gonna go because I'm sliding all over the place as it is. This snow is not grippy. Oh, dirt, I can see dirt. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> We're going to be taking a right here. What an absolutely stunning view we've got. This is absolutely beautiful. So hopefully the snow runs out, which it does, thankfully. <laughs> Oh, this is very wet. Almost as wet as Sidewinder. Oh, this is terrifying, this get cheap. Oh, right, so I think we are going straight through here. Oh, this is slippy rocks now, so this is going to be uh, fun. Got us down here first. Oh, that's a tree down. That was wet. Oh boy, look at that. I'm having to literally hike up a river here. This is normally possible to ride. All right, so we're just gonna come into Bats Castle now. I think there's some of the horses up here as well. Yep, a couple of the old X Mall ponies. Howdy doody boys. Right, well there's normally a plaque here, but that's gone. Oh, right over the channel to Wales. 
Right, let's leave back to council because we are doing some descending. But this ground is very wet, so it's either going to be slippy and death or good fun, or both. Another pony, come on buddy, out the way. Thank you. Where are you going, mate? You gonna move for me? In your own time, of course. wet <laughs> oh it's just <laughs> absolutely ridiculous Back on ourselves. Oh, don't you? Excellent. Whew. Oh, Jesus wept. That was terrifying. <laughs> so wet. Need to come back in summer and do that, I think, because that'll be absolutely awesome when it's dry. <laughs> what a ride. We finally made it to our final descent after a bit of a muddy climb. But let's get it, shall we? This will bring us back to the road. That'll take us back to the car park. That's oh, been a cracking ride. Absolutely amazing. Oh, we got the sun in our eyes for the final descent. What more could you ask for? We're going to ignore the uh, wahoo because that's wrong. We are on the proper descent. Right, so while this is a bride away, it's very narrow, so I have to keep an eye out for walkers. Oh, oh, squirrel just kamikaze itself. <laughs> oh, it is the road. Oh, <laughs> that nutter of a squirrel. <laughs> right, let's get back to the car park. Oh, there we are, guys. Uh, done. Bloody good with those forks, mind. Um, just been able to hit things just a little bit faster. More confidence. I feel like the tyres connected to the ground. That is an amazing upgrade to do on a, on a cross-country bike. So a little bit more travel, slacken that head angle little bit better of a damper as well and it is absolutely brilliant i'm i'm absolutely blown away by how good it is i've had an absolute blast as you can probably see by just how dirty i am it has been proper winter mountain biking so really enjoyed it if you guys did leave a like comment subscribe all the good stuff noise thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one cheers